Hello programmers, I'm Yash and welcome to my video tutorial on Swift programming. So today we will be learning how to create a slide out menu. Like this was requested by many of my subscribers. So I'm making this video. So this is what we will be creating. It's really simple and we will be doing it with this cool little animation. So let's get started. Create a new Xcode project, single view application, name it slide out menu and as capital hit next save it wherever you like create and here we are so under main.storyboard first of all we need uh, a navigation controller so that we can move around like if you uh, go to another view you need to come back as well so hit editor embed in a navigation controller so here we have it now uh, we need to drag and drop a view so we need a normal view i guess uh, yeah normal view is what we need okay so uh, let's first click on this view we will be giving it some color so that we can see the difference let's make it light blue yeah this is good and for and click here on the background and select some other color so you will see two different colors okay so here we have it i think this are good so first of all stretch it and i i will like to have this width to like 140 let's say 140 is good number so now let's give constraints do make sure you constrain you give constraints as i give so it's uh zero from top zero from left and zero from bottom and we will be having a fixed width of 140 at four constraints now we need a button over here so button will be a bar button and drag and drop on the left side then select the item system type and it will be organized now we need a view controller so let's drag and drop a view controller and we also need one more button and a normal button so that we can jump to this new view so uh, first of all let's give it constraints so it will be eight from top eight from top eight from left eight from right and we'll give it a fixed height and add four constraints now we'll bump up up the size so let's make it 25 and let's say uh, home okay now let's say about me about me and let's give it some different color text color let's see I think orange is good now just control drag from about me to over here and say show so that's how uh, the segue will be performed so now uh, we need to reference so basically what we will be doing is we will be manipulating this left leading constraints if you go to like okay here and select this so we will be using this constraint the line on the left side so as you can see right now that it's this is a leading alignment constraint so when you click the alignment when you click the line you will see the constraint so as our view is of width 140 what we will be doing is we will be initializing it with a constant of minus 140 so you can see that it went out of the view so let's keep it zero for now and so let's get started first of all uh, let's change the color of the second view controller and let's give it some some random color red is good and uh, we need to reference two things so go to your okay that's not working i guess let's find out our view controller so first of all we will reference our button so this is a button and control drag it over here uh, organize btn rest and don't forget to make it an action and type of ui bar button item now we need to reference this constraint so if uh, you cannot pick this you can just like open this up 
and pick a view dot leading from constraints so make sure it's when you click the constraint it shows the left line the the one to the left hole left height okay and control drag it and say side menu constraint and hit connect okay so let's hop over to our view controller so first of all I'll just bump up the size over here I think it's really small so here we have it under view did load first of all we will initialize initialize a constant with zero so when uh, the view loads you will not be seeing the menu so let's say side menu constraint dot constant is equal to zero okay I'll, I'll run it and show it to you for once so running the app will load again I guess it will install over here okay I think I'll just quit it and try to run it all over again okay my iPhone 7 plus is running so basically what will happen now is uh, when the application loads there will be no side menu right now so okay it's still there oh yeah uh, we need to initialize initialize it with minus 140 sorry my bad let's run again and the application is running so now we do not see the side menu so let's code it out so first of all we need a boolean variable so let's say var uh, is slide menu hidden so initially it's true so when the button is pressed we will check for if it's hidden or not so I'll, let's I'll, I'll give some space and control L so it's in between so if is slide menu hidden so if it's hidden we need to show it okay so it will be side menu dot constant is equal to zero else side menu dot constant is equal to minus 140 and we will just negate it so control L and uh, is slide menu hidden is equal to negation of is slide menu hidden let's play again and this time our button will be working but it won't be animating so as you see it's working but it's not animating we can hop over to different views so let's give it a small little animation so for animating our view we will write UI view dot animate with time interval time interval of 0 0.3 and animation will be uh, view dot layout if needed and do the same thing uh, under else so UI view dot animate and time interval will be same and animation will be uh, view dot layout if needed let's run the application for the last time okay we need to write self self dot view and hope it works now so the application is installing so now we have a slide out menu uh, which works so basically if you want more options you can have like multiple controllers with uh, multiple buttons over here and you just control drag uh, to the view controller and perform the segue so thank you guys uh, this was really easy uh, do make sure uh, you implement it and if you have another way of implementing then do let me know in the comments thank you keep watching please subscribe